Today, I'll be trying out a mod that completely changes the way you play Stardew Valley. The RPG mod makes it so that instead of having a standard normal Stardew Valley character, you get to build it out with different stats. You get a total of 70 points to put across strength, constitution, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. It also gives you an experience bar that you level up throughout the day. All of the different stats allow you to excel in different things. Strength lets you cut down trees faster, constitution gives you more health, dexterity makes your fishing bobber bar size bigger, intelligence will affect your crop quality, wisdom will give you more experience, and charisma will let you sell things for a higher price. There's a million different ways to build your character, so can I build mine best to survive this crazy mod? Our first thing that we gotta do is, well, first we gotta make our character, but then we have to decide how we wanna split up our stats. I'm not sure what the best way to split them up is. I'll briefly explain what each one of them does. They all affect your stats in different ways. So first up, we have strength. To me, that seems really important because destroying uh, rocks in the mines and destroying trees quickly with the least amount of energy possible seems like I would want to put a lot of points into that. So strength is feeling very important. I'm gonna put it at a 10 for now because I'm gonna go back and edit it, but I wanted to remember that's important. Now, constitution is health. It gives you more stamina per day. Now, you only start with 10 stamina's energy, in case you don't know. 10 energy per day, but you will regen energy as time goes on. So, I feel like that's not super important. Sword damage is important at the beginning, but if we can get the club, strength is definitely gonna be more important. Strength is already, like, kind of important already. So, I feel like I'm not super hot in constitution. Um, so next up, after Constitution, we have Dexterity. There, I don't- I can't think of a single thing that matters there. Fisher Bobber Size would be nice, but I don't really care that much about Fishing Bobber Bar Size. Okay, Intelligence gives you a bonus skill level, which seems really good. Wisdom. See, okay, Wisdom seems important. Okay, wait, Christmas seems actually the most important. The- I would love if the buy-sell price goes down. I kinda wanna put everything into Charisma and Strength. I feel like charisma is important. I, wa I want to put some into charisma. And then I feel like dexterity and constitution are not that important. Okay, dexterity is like really unimportant. I'll put that at two. I don't care about dexterity at all. And I'll put constitution up at like, I don't know, like eight, seven. Intelligence seems like 13 would be good. Strength seems important as well. I put that to the max. Okay, strength at the max. I don't want to put charisma at the max too. And I have three extra points. Wisdom? I feel like wisdom is good. This feels like a good spread. So we're uh, a charismatic strongman. Okay, I feel like this is the setup I'm going with. I feel pretty good about this. All right, I'm starting this. I don't care what you have to say, chat. I don't care, I don't trust you guys. I trust myself. All right, so we gotta start off with parsnips. Now I'm curious to see if we're so charismatic, how much, this, uh, how much the crops are gonna cost now. Let's see how many hits. Usually a tree takes 10 hits to knock down, okay, with the normal axe. Let's see how many it takes now. One. Two. Oh my god, our energy is going down so fast. Three. Four. Four hits! That's honestly insane. So apparently, we only started with 10 energy and 5 health, but we restore energy every 10 in-game minutes, as you see our energy is going up a little bit. I feel like I don't even want to bother, like, cutting down these rocks and stuff. Oh, I'm exhausted! Oh my gosh. That was... That was a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> I must have not put a lot into hoeing! <laughs> that was my first mistake. Okay, uh, well I guess I can plant these in the meantime. Uh, alright, well I guess while we wait for this to go back up, we can go head over to Pierre's and start buying stuff from over there. No clay farming today with 10 energy. I don't think that's really a good use of our time. <laughs> okay. I'm curious. I'm really curious about this charisma mechanic. So usually parsnip seeds cost 15 G. 14! Uh, you know, it didn't, it didn't. I mean, potatoes are now 35 instead of the usual 40, right? That's how much potatoes usually sell for. That seems good. I think cauliflower seeds are usually 80 and it's going for 56. Okay, I feel like we go for potatoes. Usually I would go for parsnips on day one, but because of our increased selling power, I feel like we go for potatoes, especially because it has an extra chance to produce like extra potatoes. I feel like that's probably gonna be our best bet. Oh my, oh, okay, this is all of our stats. Oh wait, so I'm 45 experiences, 45 points away from my next experience level. 
Okay, interesting. So you must get points for like doing a variety of different activities. I see, I see. Dang, I feel like I have no energy. This is taking forever though, All right, this energy buildup mechanic. I wanna eat a leak. I think constitution helped with energy? No shot. Affects stamina, sore, oh. oh. Ooh, we definitely should have put more into constitution. Oopsie. We definitely should have put It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, we're a big, strong man. Big, strong, charismatic man. I'll go, uh, I'll go, I'll go slide my way into some energy. <laughs> it didn't seem important at the time. I was allured by the strength and, and everything else, okay? It didn't seem important at the time. <laughs> Don't judge me. I was gonna blame this on the mod, but this is definitely the fault of the do. This, this is definitely my fault. <laughs> Stats go up over time? Yeah. See, we're 61 experience point- or 61 out of 100 right now, so we need 40 more experience points to get to another skill point, which I will immediately be putting into dexterity- or uh, constitution. It, maybe it just wasn't as important as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I, I, I should have put it into constitution. I'm, okay. What? Why do they always walk out the second I do that? Okay, it's whatever. All right. Now that we have full energy, I think we should go back to the farm, do four things of watering, and then look for more energy back in Cinder Snap Forest. I'm a multi-class barbarian and wizard. Oh gosh. Maybe I should have just rolled for these stats. Oh well. <laughs> this is just... Oh no! Every swing of my... Okay, I ne desperately need more constitution. <laughs> I will stand by my point that dexterity is useless, but... Constitution feels important now that I understand how this works. <laughs> this is a goofy mod. I'm really liking this. It's changing the way I'm like thinking about Sardi right now. I'm really enjoying this actually. Oh shoot, I have a point. Okay, I'll probably get the chance to spend that at the end of the day. Ooh, now I just want to get to bed already. Let's get water in. I feel like 10 energy is way too small. And don't say it's because I didn't invest anything into constitution, okay? Don't go ahead and say that, all right? I can already see your comments. What is this formation? It looks like the Amogus character. Or actually, no, it looks like a bunny to the side. It's quite the, quite the crop circle I've created. All right, I'm just gonna further add to how wild this thing looks by giving him two beefy little legs down here. <laughs> I do want to sell some stuff really quick to see if it increased, if having all that charisma increased my sell price. It's important to use all my forge today because hoeing, I believe, takes two energy and watering only takes one energy, which is would be a lot easier if I could get everything in the ground and then obviously we'll have like a head start on everything. All right, we only need two more spots, and then we're good. I'll give them little horns. Now we can eat our last dandelion and water all our crops. Maybe, hopefully, I hope to God that that works. I, okay, I am cannot miss a space when I'm watering right now because I have so few energy. All right, good night, trees. Okay, how much did these sell for? Okay, daffodils sold for 39. Well, a daffodil traditionally sells for 30. That's not bad at all. An extra 9G. Wait, we didn't get to use our skill level. How do I use my skill level that I got? I have a point. How do I put my point into something? Oh, wait, what? I put my point into one of my actual stats? Oh, not these stats. Oh. Okay, so our constitution is not getting upgraded anytime soon. Yeah, copy that, okay. But I think our energy might have went up. All right. What should I put it into? Farming probably, right? I feel like farming is the most useful thing I can put it into right now. So I'll get it at the end of the day now? Oh dang, I wish I had done that last night. I could have crafted a scarecrow. Flint's here! I forgot, because I got a copper ore yesterday. All right, we start, we woke up with half energy, which I'm not gonna lie, is, that's not good. That's not, that's very, that's not great, I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I guess this has nothing to do with this. This has to do with this, these level ups. So that's why I was getting points for foraging. So that's actually kind of interesting. I can get like farming points for leveling up my foraging. 
I guess I could just spam like cut down trees since they only take like four chops to cut down. Right? And then just get like really good at, at everything else. Oh god, this is really bad. Maybe we should have done foraging because we need like field snacks. <laughs> I also want to get a chest at some point, but everything takes up our entire energy bar. We have no energy. Okay, that would be my one complaint with the mod. We need a lit, just a little bit more energy so far. I know you get a stat level up whenever you get a, whenever you get a star drop. That's the extent of my knowledge currently. Maybe. How are we ever gonna get through the mines with energy like this? How do you level up your stamina? That's what I need to know. I think you get a little bit of a stamina level up every level, but still. All this strength is useless. I should have put everything into stamina. Constitution is health? Oh gosh. <laughs> Knowing my track record with eating in the mines, I feel like Constitution was not the dumb stat, guys. <laughs> I definitely should have weaned back on the wisdom. Oh well, there's nothing we can do now! There's nothing we can do now, chat, okay? What do you want me to do? I made who I am. I'm a feeble little, I'm a sickly little child who can destroy a tree in four punches, but yet I can't stand up without <laughs> falling over immediately on myself, okay? All right, Being, becoming a farmer was definitely not the best choice of profession, but it's what I did, okay? Don't, don't judge me. I'm really scared about these rocks eating my crops. All right, but think about the money, guys. Also, you get negative modifiers if your dump stats are under 10. Okay, guys! Okay! I learned that Constitution is not the dump stat. Okay? Okay? Alright, should I start over? Should I make a new one? I feel as though that my guy is just so feeble and weak. He can't really do much of anything. Okay. Alright, well, we watered all our crops at 1 p.m., so... <laughs> Uh, so that's good at least. At least we watered our crops today. Uh, now what to do for the rest of the day? I guess we could try and go fishing. I definitely could go fishing and then I could use the fish as energy. That would be a good plan. We could use the fish as energy and then the energy would fuel us because we, uh, because we have such high charisma and we sell everything for so much money. I wouldn't even mind the loss of... Wait, is fishing gonna like, since we only have like 10 energy points, can we only fish like once? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a disaster. I only had money on my mind, okay? Alright, actually, you know, let's go up to the mountain lake at least. Okay, that took half my energy away. <laughs> I am no g brilliant genius, but that seems bad. We definitely cannot clay farm. I was thinking about clay farming for some cash to buy some salads, but... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I should not have made... <laughs> okay, dumping nothing into dexterity was definitely a mistake, guys. <laughs> I did not think it was gonna be this small. That's what she said. But because of our strength, we reel it in so quickly. Oh my god, look how small it is. I knew that like making it bigger would make it bigger, but I didn't think making it smaller would make it smaller. Am I even gonna be able to catch a fish like this? What? It's so tiny. There's no hope for us. Look at this. We can't even catch it. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, no. Fishing's not in the cards for us, guys. You know? Fishing just, I, you know, I, I know I, I wasn't feeling fishing, really. I just think, you know, I never liked fishing. I, I never was a fishing guy, really. <laughs> uh, I go to bed. I, I'm just going to wake up tomorrow and deal with this. Normally, I would go fish, but I feel as though that is not an option for us. <laughs> Seeing as the size of our fishing bar is tinier than, I don't know, the amount of Sam fan. <laughs> like, oh god, this is atrocious. Okay, but look how quickly we cut down these trees! 
See guys, putting all my stats into strength was that wasn't a mistake. That that was that was perfect. Okay, I'm trying to think about what we can even do. I genuinely think that just like cutting down trees and selling the wood is currently our best strategy. As stupid as that sounds, I currently believe that to be our best strategy. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise I got I got nothing like we can cut down trees really easily and oh oh that's a that's a lot of energy plays that I don't, it's like I have a chest but for what oh, I leveled up oh my god you get a full heal when you level up nice okay what should I put it into foraging foraging so that my axe efficiency goes up okay and so that I can get tree roots now it seems like I have a reasonable amount of energy points. I'm like getting a decent chunk into these things. It was just the first couple days, see? Himbo Arc is astonishingly good. Seanbo is a god among men. All right, here's the thing. We can just farm level ups by cutting down trees, right? Cause now I'm thinking, okay, what's the quickest, what action in the game gets you the most experience points of all of them? Cause it doesn't matter which action we do. It just matters because we can put the experience points into anything, right? And then we'll be getting level ups. So cutting down a tree is four energy, basically, or eight energy for 12 EXP, which seems really good, honestly. Especially when all the first level ups are like 100. That seems pretty good, okay? I have another point? Oh God, okay, I'm putting it all into foraging. Trust me, this, this strat makes sense. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to Cinder Sap and see if there's any spring onions today. Oh boy, I'm so glad I did that. We got one whole spring onion. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, this was a mistake. <laughs> oh gosh, alright. Alright, this is all gonna be a lot better tomorrow, too because then we'll have the chance to make field snacks and then we'll be infinitely powerful. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I mean, just chain field snacks. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so smart. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Oh my God, I'm so freaking smart. Holy crow. Then we'll just chain field snacks all day long, cut down more trees, get more experience points. God, I'm just so smart. I'm just going to bed because currently we can't get tree seeds. So see, look, that's sold for 130. What did largemouth basses usually sell for? A hundred! Dang, that's pretty good. Like 30% more. Dang, this charisma modifier pops off. You know what'll really help us out? The mushroom cave. We need to speed run to the mushroom cave, which is no problem because I have my insane amount of intelligence. I mean, charisma. Okay, we need to just get as many tree seeds as we possibly can. And then, look, a maple seed. Aha, field snack! Intelligence check failed? What do you mean intelligence check failed? What the heck does that mean? I wasn't intelligent enough to craft a field snack? What the hell? I was I failed the intelligence check. Excuse me? No, it just says intelligence check failed and then nothing happened. And then I did it again and it worked. What is it? But I understand like crafts a seed chance thing, but it still let me craft it and it didn't use any of my resources, right? So like, what's the point? Now, you guys all were saying, Sean, you have to restart. Sean, you'll never figure this out. Fools, all of you. All of you. Okay? I've got the biggest brain strategy out of you all. Now I'm able to water seven potatoes before passing out. Yes, it's all coming together now. My, my, goal, my goal is my goal always, and it's to have fun and make money. But now I'm going to sell all this wood. <laughs> it's just... It's Lumberjack Simulator is what this has become, really. Oh, I got a level up! Pog! Alright, I'm putting some into mining. You need to get a mining levels up. Honestly, you're all gonna feel so stupid for doubting my little const inconstitutional boy. Alright, now it's the wait to see the profits come rolling in! Time for the profits to come rolling in from all that wood I sold today. Oh yeah, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, 1500 G. That's big. And fiber sells for one. All right, should we go to the mines today? We should are neutral. Okay, well, neutral's better than bad, so. The cat, yeah, I need a kitty. I need I need something to bring, bring my spirits up. I will adopt this cat. 
Get that coin. Get that coin. I'm not even gonna chat. I want this to be a smart kitty, guys, okay? Oh my god, look at how many gold and silver star parsnips we got, though. That's that intelligence boost, okay? And now we've got 2,000 G on the fifth day, which we can, I, I don't know, put into something else. I'll go to Pierre's. Oh wait, no, I should water first because I want to get the community center cutscene too today. And look, we were able to water all our crops in one thing. I can't believe I put all that stock into Charisma and I only sold my wood for 3G. <laughs> yes, yes, fools, all of you, fools. Fools, each and every one of you. Now I've got it. And look, they're all gold star quality, which I guess doesn't really matter because we're just eating them. But I do want to go to the mines, though. The thing we have to be careful of in the mine, though, is that there is permadeath. So if we die, we lose our character. Is there anything here worth buying? Red cabbage. Oh, wait, I did remix mob bundles. Stupid. Now we can go to Pierre's and spend all our money. All right, to Pierre's. Skibbity bop, 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 skibbity bop. And then potatoes. Oh my God, I was able to buy 65 potatoes. Cause I think potatoes seeds usually cost 50 and now they're costing 35. Easy guys, easy. And I think these spring onions should br bring me completely back up to full, which is gonna be, you know, we're I was gonna go to the mines today, chat. How am I ever gonna go to the mines with all these crops? Also, wait, I should make a scarecrow. I don't have the coal. Oh God, I just realized I have no coal. Cause I never break rocks because I can't afford it because I have zero energy ever. <gasps> Cause I'm a very unconstitutional person. Classic. All right, need a spring onion. All right, I do wanna try. Oh my god, that gives no energy! Spring onions even suck now! They still suck! Even when I have like six energy and I can only do like six things per day, spring onions are still terrible! God, why were these things ever added to this stupid game? Oh my god, I hate the spring onions! Who added these god-awful materials? Alright, we need to get a scarecrow. We need to get coal. Where is the coal? Show me the coal! Finally, we got coal. Okay, Pog. And now think about the profits. That's all I have on my mind really right now. Okay, now we gotta farm up some more field snacks. Gosh, it's just you start, you got, you finish one project, you gotta immediately start on another. My goodness gracious. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Are we close to getting a level up? We have to be, right? We must be. Oh, we are not close at all. Wait, did I get a level up today? Oh, I did get a level up today and I didn't even notice. I did not notice that we got a level up today. All right. I'm gonna do mining two and foraging three. Okay, wait, from now on, I feel like we should put all of our skill points into farming and then we can get sprinklers. And then it won't matter that we're as feeble as the day is dry. Cause then we can just plant sprinklers everywhere. <laughs> okay, mine today, mine today, I'm going to the mines. To the mines we go. So the parsnips sold for a lot more than I thought. They they originally sold for 35 and we sold them for 46. So an a, extra 11. All right, well now let's see how the mines go. All right, we have our sword. I am a little nervous because there is permanent death in here. And we can craft staircases, which is nice. You usually don't have that on your first day of the mines. Okay, we have this atrocious luck. I'm just curious how much a slime would do to me, you know? Oh. <laughs> Okay, I, I know, no, no, I, 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 I lied. I don't want to figure it out. I don't want to figure it out. I'm too scared. My strength is coming in handy. Watch this. Bop in one. Oh no. Okay, that didn't do that much damage. Okay. Oh no. Okay. All right. Half my health after two hits. Okay. Maybe it did do that much damage. Okay. I completely lied. That was a lot of damage. So much damage was done. Oh, we don't have to watch the geode cutscene now because I did it in the inventory. Don't need slime. I didn't this wood. We've run out of energy. I remember when we had a lot of energy. See, we healed up our energy, got our health. What are you we're all worried about? If we get a club, then we would be actually cracked. You know, and it's and because you restore energy over time, it's actually kind of good to like uh wonder how many of the big rocks would take. They usually take 10, right? Let's see how many they take now. Now that I'm super strong. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that. I, that's a little bit better. That's that's kind of better. Oh, <gasps> club! You're joking! Oh my god! You're joking! Oh my god! We're cracked! Oh my god! This is insane! Oh my god! What are the chances of that? Oh my god, we're unstoppable now. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! This is so cracked. Okay, we really need to get a level up to get the full... Okay, we're very close to getting a level up. We have literally broken like every single rock on this godforsaken floor. I don't know where this rock could possibly be. Finally, we found the god dang exit. Bum, bum. Oh, and a freebie. Oh my god, I can't believe we got the club from a slime. How pog is that? Now enemies do not scare me at all. I don't care if we're so feeble that one hit from a slime will literally kill us. And we just got the level up. Here. And spawn an exit. You did not spawn an exit. Boom, look at that. Bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I am strong. I am so very strong. All right, what is this gonna be? Sign good, sign good. Work boots. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take work boots. Dude, Himbo Sean is popping off right now. What do we not need here? The No, we need the... Oh, jeez, we have so much energy. Oh my God, I'm too good. I'm literally too good. That I don't even have room for this earth crystal. I should get rid of this bug meat. Boom. We're gonna hit 20 at least. Child's play, really. Easy. Easiest floor 25 of my life. I have two hours and like half energy. I'm on 24. I'll probably make it there before you guys even get the chance to vote. In fact, I might even make it to 30. Because I'm just that cracked. Imagine I get a second club. Imagine I get a second club. That would be insane, right? How are my skills looking? Oh, I'm way far off my next level. Okay, that sucks. I want to adjust these stats, okay? Alright, watch this. We're going to get the exit right here, then there's going to be a freebie on 29. No, there is not. Okay. We're going to get the exit right here, then freebie on 28. Wait, we got a level up today. We can pass out. It's fine. I forgot. We got a level up today. We got several level ups today. What's the fortune today? <gasps> Star drop luck! Oh, I want to go back to the mines so bad. I was doing so well at the mines, though. That's where a barbarian like me does plays best, you know? Did I sell to Pierre today? Yeah, probably, right? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Until I get very tired, I'm gonna water, right? And then I'm gonna have no energy, right? And you're like, oh no, I have no energy. But then I'm just gonna cut down like two trees and level up and get all my energy back. Easy! What did I say? What did I freaking say? And we got two more points. Farming level 5, farming level 6. Probably should have actually put one of those into mining. That is a problem for future Shawnee. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to the mines. I don't care. I don't give a what. I hate this intelligence check thing. It makes no sense to me. But whatever, I power through. Nevertheless, I persisted. Alex is sick. Who the heck likes Sam? Who likes Sam? Sam's gotta be like the most boring bachelor. Name one thing about Sam besides the fact that he plays the guitar. You can't. You can't. You can't think of a single thing. That's because there's nothing else. That's all he does. Play the goddamn guitar. That's his entire personality. Play the guitar and skateboard. All right, that Goku ass looking phony MFR. For some reason, things are feeling a lot more difficult today, despite it being a star drop day, which is not, doesn't make me feel great. Oh my gosh, this is cracked. I'm cracked. I'm literally cracked. Stardew. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Another topaz. Dude, the charisma is going to pop off soon. It's all coming, chat. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. How far away are we from level up? Oh my god! So far away. There we go. Oh my god, dude. And the forest sword? That's crazy. This has really just turned into a mind speed run, hasn't it? Okay. And once we get down to floor 40, I'll feel satisfied. 
then we can leave because this energy is pretty abysmal and waiting the 10 oh how should we how should we end off our our playthrough for the day I feel like we should do something like very climactic we got to floor 40 of the mines we got a bunch of money okay let's sell some of those some of these actually we'll keep one of those and then that's it i just want to see how much these gems sell for can we make it to the wizard somebody told me the other day you can pet the pig lies lies and slander okay back to the community center Oh, wait, wait, we don't have to go all the way to the community center. What's in spring foraging? Oh, it's the regular one. That's fine. All right, wait, yeah, yeah, we can finish the spring. We can finish our foraging bundle to end off today's episode. All right. Plop, 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 plop. Easy. Easy, easy. And then we have spring seats, which we can sell too. And now the pantry bundle is unlocked too. We can see what's in there at least. All right, what's in the pantry? Okay, standard qual a oh, rare crops bundle fish farmer bundle uninstalling 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 are you kidding me fish farmer and rare that is like the worst role you can get on the pantry bundle that has ever existed what even is that garbage rare crops and fish farming come on man that's just not right 